days, 40 days of Lent is the annual retreat of the people of God in imitation of Jesus' 40 days in the wilderness. 40 is a significant number in the scriptures. Moses went to the mountain to seek the face of God for 40 days in prayer and fasting. The people of Israel were in the wilderness for 40 years in preparation for their entry into the promised land. Elijah fasted for 40 days as he journeyed in the wilderness to the mountain of God. We are called to journey with Jesus in a special season of prayer, fasting, almsgiving, and penitence as we prepare to celebrate the Feast of Easter. What a beautiful opportunity to say to Jesus, I can make this sacrifice, Jesus. Whatever I do is nothing. Thank you for the biggest sacrifice you made for me on the cross. What a beautiful thing to say, I can give up this or that. And we know that children give up candies and chocolates and sodas, and that's okay. We have to make bigger sacrifices. We know the areas in our lives in which we need to change. We need to renew ourselves. God wants to set our hearts ablaze with the fire of the Holy Spirit, that we may share in His holiness and radiate the joy of the Gospel. St. Augustine a people tells us that there are two kinds of people in two kinds of law. One is holy and the other is selfish. One is subject to God and the other endeavors to equal Him. We are what we love. And God wants to free our hearts from all that will keep us captive to selfishness and to sin. Render your hearts and not your garments, says the prophet Joel. Why in today's Gospel did Jesus single out prayer, fasting and almsgiving for his disciples? The Jews, as we know, consider these three as the cardinal works of the religious life. And these were seen as the key signs of a pious person, the three, the three great pillars on which the good life was based. And Jesus pointed to the heart of the matter. Why do you pray? Why do you fast? Why do you give alms? To draw attention to yourself so that others may notice and think I highly of you? or to give glory to God. So he warns his disciples of self-seeking glory, the preoccupation with looking good and seeking praise from others. True piety is something that is something more than feeling good or looking holy. And true piety is loving devotion to God. It's an attitude, an attitude of awe, of reverence, of worship, an attitude of obedience. It is indeed a gift of the Holy Spirit. So may the prayer of St. Augustine, a people recorded in his confessions, be the prayer for this Lenten season. He said, and I quote, when I am completely united to you, there will be no more sorrows or trials. Entirely full of you, O oh Lord, my life will be complete.